All right, my Buntag, you know what? It's actually, I think, nine in the morning here. We're in Paseo del Mar in Zamboanga City. And I've been waiting because the weather's been a bit bad. And we're gonna go over to Santa Cruz Island, check out the Pink Beach. But while I was tanned by, some of the local Bajau kids paddled over. And uh, I just want to show you their amazing swimming skills. So check this out. All right, yeah. Hey, bye. Look at him go though, look at him go. Is he going to get that? Look how deep he is. Look how deep he is. Did he get it? No way. No, you get it? No? He got it? Okay, single luck. Single game, single game. You know what, like uh, it might look a bit weird, you know, just uh, showing you that throwing money at kids in boats uh, and it kind of feels a bit weird sometimes to be honest, but uh, it's just the kind of thing I wanted you to see how amazingly talented these kids are and their skills, you know, on the water. It's so, so cool how they can open their eyes, swim for so long, hold their breaths and, you know, the Bajo, that's their traditional growing up, their livelihood, you know, they live on the sea. They're originally from Tawi Tawi and uh, I think it's so easy sometimes because they're, they're known as wanderers to, uh, to you know, see Bajau around the country and kind of negatively look at them or look at them kind of in a very like disrespectful way and I think sometimes people just make fun of them and, and I just wanted you, you know, the reason I wanted to show that is just so you could see the positive, you know, attributes of them. They're so amazing on the water and uh, don't get me wrong, it does feel weird throwing money at people and I, I don't want it to be seen as like a circus. Um, but you know, I just I just want people to stop disrespecting or talking negative about others, you know, and uh, the Bajau have amazing qualities to them and I'm sure in their local communities, especially near Tawi Tawi and around the Zambonga Peninsula, they're probably amazing. So, cool experience, uh, they're leaving now, they're in the distance. Time to go find the Pink Island. Welcome to the beautiful pink beach in Santa Cruz, Zamboanga. You know what, later in the day this beach gets even more incredible, kind of the, the tide goes out and you see the whole sandy stretch, like this is beautiful and imagine little bits of pink coral make this a pink sandy beach, it's just awesome. Book committees on form. <laughs> You'll learn this very fast in the Philippines, okay? If you ever go and adventure anywhere, you must always bring a Sugba committee or Ihao Ihao committee.
Mamiyaku. Mamiyaku. Mamiyaku? Okay, so if we're gonna buy something in Taosug, you say Mamiyaku. 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 So if you wanna look cool with the souvenir ladies, you come up like this, you go. Mamiyaku. Mamiyaku. Tanan. These ladies are awesome. Having way too much fun learning Tao Sung. It's a tribute to my friend. So if you come to Zamboanga City and you're going to eat food, you have to eat karacha. If you don't eat karacha, you haven't been to Zamboanga. Tama, sakto, vitao, ayas. Okay. You don't have to describe it. It just tastes like a delicious crab, but it looks kind of unique. Mm. Mm. Okay. So that was karacha number one. Now we're going to go karacha with rice. Get some rice up in this. Actually, if I mix this around enough, you think, see, it's almost like pasta. I could call this karacha pato if you mix it around enough. Um. Oh, it's better with rice. Eat it with rice. It's better with rice. Okay. I think it's safe to say that everything is definitely more colorful in Zamboanga. A pink beach and the amazing sails of the local boats. Yeah, look at this. Sweet. Stand by. Do some chatting up here. Nice one. <laughs> you know what? It's super nice to see a lot of people here because you know what? A lot of people are still afraid of coming to Zamboanga. But you know what? You can come and explore here and travel, and especially if you're Filipino, like you should not be afraid to come, interact, learn, just appreciate this beautiful place. So, I mean, it's just awesome. Look behind me, you know? And check out the colors. I love the colors. Come to Zamboanga and I promise you, you're gonna smile! Yeah. <laughs>